Hello watchers, it's me Jasper again. Um, just actually getting off work, walking my home, way home. But today, me and a guy were kind of talking and the whole issue came up of workplace camaraderie. Um, obviously, you know, working in the in a factory setting is, is a bit different than working in say like a restaurant setting or something like that it, it can definitely be a little bit more vulgar than you know than than a uh, like an office setting you know um but you know we we harass each other all day long uh and it builds car camaraderie it, it builds friendships but it can be taken too far you know sometimes we just we just don't know when to stop. Um, I know I've done it. I try not to. I try to watch myself. You know, I don't want to piss anybody off, or at least piss them off too much. Uh, but you know, we all we all raz each other. Like I said, it builds friendships. It builds it builds good strength uh, among each other. And as long as it's appropriate, as long as you know the boundaries of everybody around you. I actually approve of it. Um, it can boost morale. You know, um, there there's actually one guy that we work with, and it does seem like he might get targeted a little. And I've even caught myself, you know, razzing him. And I I pulled myself back. You know, I was like I I pushing on him I don't see I don't want to piss him off too much because he doesn't seem like the type to really take it too well even though he you know he can he can dish it out but it's just one of those people that can dish it out and can't take um the other day I know I did piss him off quite quite well but it wasn't actually over you know the the normal bullshit it was uh he borrowed something from my area and then brought it back and just threw it in into place without put in the way properly and this pissed me off and, you know and, and I tried to be stern about it I just I didn't walk up to him and start calling him names and yelling at him I got stern with him because he actually I was standing right there as he did it and he got all pissed off about it you know like why you know why the fuck should I have to do that and that's just out of general respect you know you borrow something you bring it back you put it away you put it away clean and you know that that did piss me off because I'm very respectful in that manner. If if I'm gonna borrow something, I'm gonna bring it back in a prompt manner, and I'm gonna put it back where I found it, or if there was another place you would like it, I'm gonna put it away clean. Um, and he he did he got really pissed off, and I I don't really care at that point just because he should have known better. I even um, mentioned it. Uh, to to my supervisor, uh, and I told him I was like, "Look, I'm not complaining or bitching, anymore, but I'm just letting you know I might have pissed off this guy over here." And, then I, and he asked me why, and I told him why, and he told me, "You know, I'd have done the same thing." And like I said, I wasn't trying to to run to the boss or anything, but you know, I was just letting him know what the hell is going on in case he had to say something. You know, well, this guy's being a jerk. Yeah, I was being a jerk. About it. You know, like, if you're gonna. Be and put it back um, by the way you know I know you know he does get picked on I, I kind of lay back you know I see the other guys and I try to tell him you know not so much with him you know it's just because he can't take it like the rest of us can but you know if you're gonna be in that setting that's just the way it is but you still need to be respectful for the people around you uh, otherwise I mean I've never had too many places that I've had to like tippy toe around just because I didn't want to offend anybody or I didn't want to piss anybody off. Um, there was this one place I worked at a printing press factory once, and everybody there was, and it was just weird. Everybody there was like this stuck up. You couldn't say shit to them, or else they would get pissed off. Or I don't know if they were just upset with their jocks. It was a pretty crappy job. I was there. Maybe two weeks, and I was like, "I'm out of here. I can't do this place." Um, just to say, they they actually did shut down just because they couldn't they couldn't do what they needed to do. And your employees are always number one. 
So if you can't take care of your employees, you can't take care of business. So, you know, I, I, I like camaraderie. Um, the guy I work with now, I've been, this is my second week back at this job. So the guy I work with now, he's, he's pretty cool. You know, we can, we can call each other all sorts of names and fuck around with each other. And, and after it's all said and done, we're still good because we know we're just joking around. It can get quite harsh, but at the end, we still know that we're both just joking around, which is fine. And I like that. I like to be able to joke around. Um, the last place I worked at, though, it, it blew me away because they took it a step further. They would... Man, would they really razz each other. They wouldn't play so many practical jokes, per se. But some of the stuff they would say to each other and just not get offended. It was just... I mean, I, I could say some pretty vulgar stuff, but these guys took it to one new level. And, and it just... It took me from point A to point B. I never really got too heavily involved in those type of shenanigans. Just because I've always had my life based on respect and sometimes like I've always seen like stuff they said was just you know kind of pushing the limits and like I said I didn't want to piss anybody off too much but for the most part I mean you have to get along with your co-workers you have to get along with your supervisors and you know depending on the relationship sorry if I keep changing hands I'm kind of cold right now I should have put on my gloves <laughs> But depending on the kind of relationship you have with all these guys, uh, you know, it, I had bosses I could, you know, goof around with and fuck around with, and, and it was cool. And some of the, you know, it's just, you don't. You, you, they're the boss, and you're um, the subordinate, you know. It, so, and, and a lot of aspects that's you know it kind of should be because your boss should not be your friend because it's it's really hard it doesn't matter who you are it's really hard to take the boss seriously if he has to bark an order at you, you know oh well i'm good friends with this guy so if i don't get it done then he's not going to get bad and it's that's not the case at all you should bust your ass get it done regardless whoever it is whether you're good friends with your supervisor or not um like i had a boss you know i was at work he was my boss i did not treat him as a friend as a friend but outside of work we did hang out we we went and you know this stuff outside of work and outside of work we were friends but there was a line you know we might say hey uh what are you doing this friday you know you want to go out to the to the range or whatever you know that was cool but we wouldn't discuss you know our personal lives with each other whilst at work because that is not the role at work so i mean like when i've had supervisorial roles when i've had lead roles um i'll be nice to you and I try to be stern with you and not try to be a dick. You know, I want to build, you know, a friendship with you or a work relationship with you that's not based on, you know, I'm just barking orders at you and I want to get shit done. I want to talk to you in a respectful manner, you know, a couple times before I have to, you know, sit you down and discuss what the hell's going on why the job's not getting done because i don't want to have to just bring the hammer down um you know and, and i believe that's the way a lot of jobs should do uh or jobs uh, supervisors should be you know they shouldn't just you know when they come out they shouldn't just grab the whip and start cracking it uh you need to be able to to, to communicate with your your fellow employees whether you're a direct co-worker or you know their supervisor um you know you got to be able to communicate um you have to be stern too that's the other thing that's a good big quality to me with um being a supervisor is being stern you're having a backbone because if if you're not stern if you don't have a backbone 
and you back down from your employees you don't always have to to win the arguments or or the situation but if someone disagrees with you and they do it often and you're constantly backing down they're going to continue to do it they're not going to do their job and i did have a, a supervisor that was like that that he had no backbone and it drove me nuts that you know he was kind of timid when it came to like employee confrontation and he didn't always know what what to say a lot of times you know and he would always say like the wrong the worst possible things like you would sit there and literally be like did you really just fucking say that like you just want to reach out and touch him like i don't know his his skills weren't always the best at it but you know to each their own but bottom line we all have to have com camaraderie with our fellow employees whether they be direct co-workers supervisors even you know heads of the company you know and that's that's what helps a company run good if you're going to be respectful and hardworking, you'll get a lot done and if the supervisor will supervisors will respect you more they'll 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 expect you know a good term from you you'll, you'll get a lot of good feedback from these guys um which is good i mean we all want that feedback but if you're also a good respecting stern but understanding supervisor you're gonna get a lot back from your your coworkers or your subordinates because a happy employee is a hard-working employee because if you treat them like dog shit they don't want to do anything for you bottom line they don't want to lift a finger they'll come to work just to get paid do the minimal amount of the work call off a lot you know they're not going to be there for you and i don't care what business you are in the world your employees are everything absolutely everything so you you got to find that that balance you got to find that perfect measure in between for being a supervisor you know being you know caring and stern and be able to be respectful enough to talk to your employees to motivate them um and as employees i work with a lot of bad people you know i'm just gonna put it out there not everybody is a good worker everybody has a capability of being a good worker but not too many people are especially when you you end up going to shit jobs you're gonna find more of the the jobs that that no one wants that that they're pretty much putting all the bad workers there but you know if you're a good worker you work hard you respect your surroundings and your co-workers you know they are going to lean on you a little bit more that's just going to have to be put out there but you'll get more respect out of it which that should be you know the number one goal just get the respect out of it you'll most of the time i can't say every instance is going to lead to this but you'll get more clout as well and clout to me is 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 awesome i love having clout you know i love having leverage you know because if you earn the clout that means they respect you they respect what you do they respect your opinions so if you have an idea you know if you like doing something a certain way that just might not be protocol per se Maybe they'll can let you continue doing it just because you're a good worker. You know, this is this falls in line with getting along with everybody. You know, if, if you're willing to help out other workers too and have a positive attitude with it, it it's it just it's awesome. You know, it gets you so far. You know, it's not going to get you up the totem pole per se. It's not going to get you that million dollar job. 
you know, it's just, unfortunately, hard work doesn't always pave the way for money. Um, and I've learned that many, many years ago. But as long as you can gain camaraderie from your coworkers, at least you can be happy, or at least somewhat content at your job. Instead of having to go in there every day and, you know, kick rocks around just just because you don't feel like being there just because you feel like everybody else an asshole which in reality is probably just you um i think i'm pretty much finished with that but like i said I'm, I'm working with a couple good guys right now hoping to continue um i did have an opportunity pop up the Possibly train for the uh, my supervisor if he ever goes uh, on vacation to do some of the things that he's he does. So I'm looking forward to that. So if you like, like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Other than that, bye bye.